Welcome to Nevada and Groom Lake Air Force Base. Of course, Groom Lake Air Force Base is known by its more stylish uh, mainstream name of Area 51. So we will be taxing out of here before the Americans realize that a Swedish airplane might not have sufficient permission to be here. Okay, so ATC Dreamland just gave us permission to tax see to runway 32. Now I picked up the Nevada test range map on the uh, autumn sale, mostly because of the red flag campaigns, but also because I wanted something new. I've been flying over the, over Caucasus for forever now, and uh, I felt that um, using the uh, using the uh, test range to get some more flying time with the free F uh, with the two F5 campaigns and the red flag campaign for the Vigan would be a nice thing to do. So we will be taking a bit of a look on the base itself while we are taxiing. It's pretty uninspiring, looks a bit boring, and that's probably exactly the kind of look they are going for. We are pretty alone in the sky today. This is just a sightseeing flight to make sure that we know the area. But just in case, I have loaded us with uh, four air defense uh, robot 74s. And uh, I hope I will not have to use them. So we are going to adjust our heading a little bit so we don't... I mean, for being a base that supposedly tests airplanes and airframes. It's a bit interesting to see how small the taxiways are, but then again, they might just be for F5s and the like that are testing new systems, but never mind that. We will be heading straight out on the runway. Of course, uh, one can apply a bit of a logical mind to the entire thing about Area 51, and uh, Area 51 is most likely too recognizable and too known to the general public to be of any use to it as a secret base. However, it is probably a very good way to draw attention away from the actual secret bases. So, uh, here is hoping that... Um, we get off before anyone realizes that we all we have seen around here is a bunch of boring buildings. Of course, there is going to be UFO spotters on the nearby hills, most likely watched over by uh, base patrol. And these uh, UFO spotters, who have never seen a vegan before, is most likely going to report in that today, yes, a UFO took off from... Area 51, or Dreamland, as it's sometime called. We're standing by on the tarmac, and I'm going to have a bit of a more look at this base, because it's a very interesting experience, you know, to actually have them... Mo Wait a minute, what the hell is that? And I'm not talking about the jet fuel or the... That looks awfully familiar. Those are... Type 2 shuttles from Star Trek Voyager. That's actually quite a nice little easter egg they got going on there. Of course they had to make a UFO easter egg somewhere because it's, you know, it's Area 51. But I had kind of expected there to be an Independence Day one, like the launch tunnel that's used in the movie or something like that. But no, they went full on with Star Trek Voyager. I grew up with Star Trek Voyager, so I kind of appreciate that. Uh, but now that we've detected their secret, we need to get the hell out of Dodge. Our flight plan for today is simple. From Area 51 to uh, McCarran International Airport in Las Vegas. And uh, we will also be passing by some uh, other areas of interest along the way. Not the Hoover Dam, however. Also, I really hope I did not damage my wheels by that sloppy takeoff. If I damage my wheels, we will surely know about it soon enough. So we have the uh, map going on here. And we can basically check a lot of stuff 
on it. Uh, sadly, I can't really see where the Hoover Dam is supposed to be, because the Hoover Dam is something I really would like to have a look at. But I will most likely create a separate mission and just, you know, take off a helicopter close to the Hoover Dam. Put a b bunch of missiles into it, just see if that works. I mean, if there's one thing you, you should recreate if you have a dam in a mission, it's obviously the Dam Busters. And I'm, I don't mean the Caucasus one, because the Caucasus one doesn't really seem to have the same way, same um, approach possibilities. But I haven't seen the Hoover Dam either, so I actually do not know. Uh, let's turn on the ground radar and realize that it is a barren, desolate, featureless desert out there, as General Melchant would call it before he flipped the map to the other side. And uh, it's kind of interesting to note that ED has been focusing so much on these desert terrains, but I think the re reason behind it is that it allows them more time to focus on the more interesting aspects of the title instead of just, you know, adding. Uh, if, for example, if they were to make a Baltic map, and I would really like a Baltic map, uh, they would most likely have to make, sh make sure that the tiles and stuff like that matched reality far more than maybe a desert map needs to, because the desert map, you can add low hills, you can emulate the topography uh, fairly well, but when it comes to actually adding stuff, there's not really that much to add. I mean, if you were flying over a well-populated area, the area we would be flying over now would not look so barren. I mean... So I think it's mostly a cost efficiency issue. They are choosing the desert terrains because at the moment they also are areas that people actually do fly over. But I'm very happy with my purchase of the Nevada map because uh, uh, Persian Gulf, there will be plenty of opportunities to buy Persian Gulf down the line. And at the moment, I'm more interested into the red flag campaigns and trying to get as much stick time with the Vigan and the F5 as I can. Mainly because I am uh, of the opinion that just flying like this doesn't really learn you every anything. Um, a lot of people can fly this way. Uh, but uh, if you want to fly... Uh, shall we say properly and actually be able to handle yourself in a fight and stuff like that then I believe in uh, actually tr making sure you try yourself under trying conditions and that the conditions themselves are challenging and I heard that the red flag campaign in, in, for the vegan in particular is very interesting so it's going to be uh, a fun times uh, checking it out, but I might not do that r just this minute or anything like that. Instead, I will be focusing my attention on the familiarization flight and making sure I know some of the landmarks, uh, basically have a lot of fun around flying around Las Vegas and stuff like that. We're pretty good on fuel, so I can actually increase our speed for the duration of the waypoint. We are coming up on another Air Force base straight ahead. And this Air Force base is probably not a secret. Uh, but that is just a guess on my part. On my part. There is, however, a long desert road route right there. I don't know if that actually leads to uh, Groom Lake Air Force Base or not, but the entire area seems almost littered with Air Force bases, most likely because Death Valley and similar runs are a very good practice area, especially Nellis Air Force Base have gained some almost legendary status due to 
their hosting of the Red Flag event that also hosts international pilots. So here we have uh, what almost looks like a highway and uh, a bunch of residential areas, maybe even hotels, swimming pools, stuff like that. So we will be turning on to Waypoint 3. I really like this desert skin, it really fits into the whole Nevada theme. And it's not something the Vegan actually did have, uh, but it's uh, a skin that I appreciate because um, uh, the green splinter camo would look a bit off around here. And instead flying with the Swedish uh, desert camo looks a lot better. One thing I'm kind of interesting uh, interested in is why Heat Blur has not made sure to randomize the numbers. It's kind of annoying when you have like 10 vegans on the flight line and all of them have tail number 37. So uh, if th they ever add that into the module, I would really love to have uh, modified tail numbers. So. All of them are not 37 and stuff like that. Ground radar reports contact. Also, our electronic uh, warfare systems are also warning about contacts. I'm gonna climb a little bit and see what I can find and above all else what I can see because it looks like we are actually coming up on Las Vegas up ahead here so we got uh, the residential areas of uh, Las Vegas right under us and we've got uh, what looks like to be uh, downtown Las Vegas, right one, about 1 o'clock there. Uh, so we will be... Wait, contact. An F-14! That might be what's uh, causing the signals. Because that, that F-14 does not look friendly. Let's ditch our pod and countermeasures. Oh wait, we don't have a countermeasures pod. That's embarrassing. We have a second F-14 uh, coming right in. I think this is Heat Blur being very angry at me for not pre-ordering their F-14 uh, module. We are going to make a dive for the strip and we are going to see if we can't lose them. Now the F-14 of course have good engines and better missiles. So we're going to try and lose them in the ground clutter. Both of them are still behind me, switching to air to air mode. Hopefully there is not a lot of stuff on the ground here that we can lock on with our missiles. So we got the hotels and the casinos and stuff like that on the ground here. Very nice scenery indeed. Especially flying low over like this. I mean, that's pretty cool actually. I don't see any rooftop roller coasters, but uh, I do see that uh, we still have company in the shape and form of the Tomcats. One of them is going low and trying to stay on my tail. Another one is trying to stay above us. I'm going to try and nail the guy above me. Which might not be the best idea, since I don't want to overheat my engine. Fox 2! He's popping flares! We got him! It's important for us to keep the... Oh, wait. The other one is right ahead of us now.
Fox 2. Come on, track him, track him! Fox 2. God damn it, we wasted two missiles and neither tracked. I even got the tone for the last one. We only have one missile left now. And the uh, McCarran is probably wondering what the fuck is going on here right now. Oh crap, we lost engine power. This is not good. This is horrible, in fact. We lost engine power. Reignition. Of course, that reignition cost us our lead in the dogfight. So, McCarran is probably just trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. So, I'm going to dive in at the strip and see if I can't lose this little heat blur. Come at me, boy. Of course, he's trying to go over the hotels rather than between them. Not a bad idea on his part. It's close again. Let's do a bit of a sharper turn and counter. His engines are better than mine too, so I don't really have the luxury of uh, actually being able to out-compete him in that regard. Oh crap, don't tell me my... Yeah. There you are. Fox 2. It's not going to track. Or is it? Is it? No! We didn't get him and we're out of missiles. God damn it. We didn't get him, we're out of missiles, and at least our engine is working. So we got that going for us, which is nice. But that boss that shook our last RB-74, and I should have waited for a better angle, really. But I was worried that my engine was going to quit on me again. So, basically this is going to be a very different kind of uh, sightseeing now. We are going to have a bit of a tour over Las Vegas, and that F-14 is most likely going to stay on our tail. And going to be very annoying, most likely, while doing so. But I have to say, the looks of Las Vegas is really, really nice here. It's not as big as Dubai, obviously, and not as detailed as Dubai either, for that matter. But it has most of the landmarks, and that is kind of the important thing. And so I think we're going to fly... Oh, come off it. Just leave me alone. I'm trying to do a sightseeing flight here, and you just want me to pre-order the F-14. Okay, so we are going to go for a quick turnaround, and then we are going to go low over the strip, very low. And here is our friend the F-14 again. Let's do this. Low over the strip. Is that a Trump Tower? Holy shit, it's a Trump Tower! Let's reload with Arax and, and shoot them all into the Trump Tower. 
Of course, it doesn't actually say Trump, it says Trump. But we all know what the hell that is. I mean, a building that looks like it's been painted in cheap gold that has to be a Trump Tower. Besides, there's no way Trump wouldn't have a tower in Las Vegas. Just saying. And we lost our wings. Ejecting, ejecting, ejecting. We... <laughs> we pushed the plane too far and crashed in a residential area. Not really the best um, ending to the sightseeing, but it was a nice sightseeing nonetheless. So, I'll take it. I should have shot down that uh, F4 when, uh, F-14 when I had a chance. So, uh, th at any rate, it's going to be very fun checking out the Nevada terrain and all the sightseeing parts that comes thereof. So, catch you guys next time, and there's going to be more Nevada, especially I'm going to show most of my work with the uh, Red Flag campaigns, so.